Praise the Lord. Thank God it doesn't get tired of loving Jesus. Sweeter and sweeter as the day goes by. You know, I think there was a quote that said, when you pray, something along the line, when you pray, just remember when you pray, you're talking to the one that loves you the most. Right? You're talking to God, and, and it's a fellowship between you and the God that loves you and the God that cares about everything that is going on in your life. And God loves you. God loves each and every one of us. And His purpose for us is good. The things He has in store for us. So don't forget that. Tonight I want to read to you for, this, for the message tonight from the book of Isaiah chapter 12. Verses 1 through verses three, verse 3. And in that day thou shalt say, O Lord... I will praise thee. We're just talking about praise, right? He said, O Lord, I will praise thee. Though thou wast angry with me, thine anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. And with help, I want to use verse 3 as our text. It said, Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. And using that part especially when he said, draw water out. And with help of the Lord, I want to preach in a message entitled, Get Some Water. <laughs> he said, you're going to draw it out. God's not going to give it to you. You've got to go get it. <laughs> right? I'm not, he's not, he said, Here, here's, here's the well. You've got to draw it out. So the message is get some water. You're thirsty, get some water, and let your soul be refreshed. Let the thirst be quenched. We need the water of the living God. Amen? Amen. Let's look to God in prayer tonight. Father, we just want to give praise and glory to you. We thank you for this time to be in your house. We thank you for the word of God. We ask now you will bless it, bless the message, bless the messenger, give the anointing, the unction of your spirit, God. We pray that the Holy Ghost will speak and the word of God will strengthen all that will open their ears to it tonight. In Jesus' name, I ask these things. Amen. Preaching about get some water. Isaiah here talking about a time where the people will turn back to God and they will reference God as their salvation. The Lord is my salvation. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid for the Lord Jehovah. He said, He's my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. And he's talking about the time where the people will come back to God and He being that well, they will begin to go to Him and receive what they need for their thirsty soul. And one of the best things I think you can tell someone who is dying of thirst is to do what? Just get some water, right? Why lay there dying? Why die of thirst when you can just go get some water and drink? Because the water will help. It will meet the need in, the, in, the, in that individual's life. It will quench their thirst and it will also revive energy and strength again in them. And when we look at the scripture, we see that water, according to spirit, in spiritual sense or spiritual things, water is represented by, number one, the Word of God. Where it said in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 26, it said that He might sanctify and cleanse it, speaking about a church, it there represents a church, that he, shall, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the Word. So God looks at His water, at the Word of God as water that can cleanse us from our sins. Water that can cleanse us from things that are not good in our life. As He said, wherewith shall a young man cleanse his ways by taking heed unto the Word of God. So water in the Scripture is represented by His Word. It's also represented 
by the Spirit of God as Jesus was teaching there in the temple in the book of the Gospel of John, chapter 7, verse 37 through 39. He said, In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Right? And Jesus said, You thirsty, come get some water. <laughs> right? In verse 38, he said, He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe in him should receive, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. And so from the scripture both, it shows us two things, that the Word of God and the Spirit of God is represented as water. We need the Word of God. Amen? And we need the Spirit of God. And so, if you feel thirsty tonight, if you feel a little bit down, if you feel a little bit discouraged, feel a little bit wore out, feel like uh, you, a little bit like your strength is, uh, uh, is, is, is abated, I have a message for you tonight. Get you some water. Amen. Get some water tonight. Come to the wells of water of salvation and just get some water. Get some water because it's there for you to receive it if you want it. I have in my Bible here. I don't know when I wrote this, but many, maybe one time I was reading it. Usually I read and I write things on my Bible. It says, get your buckets ready. <laughs> get, your, get your buckets ready. He said, therefore with joy shall ye draw water. Right? Wherefore with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. God wants his people to get some water. There is no need for a Christian to be thirsty tonight. Spiritually, right? There's no need for us to be thirsty. There's no need for us to be weak. There's no need for us to be all dried up on the inside. There's no need for us to suffer from dehydration when there is a well. And the Bible said with joy we can draw water from that well. With joy we can come to the Lord and we can just get our bucket and let it down into that well. And we can pull up water, living water that can quench the thirst of our soul. We can have have happiness we can have peace and joy and faith and and courage and confidence in God tonight all we need to do is get some of that living water that God is talking about we need that water thirsty souls can draw water from this well a well of spiritual water God's invitation is for all to come and get some water this water will give us strength to the weak God says come and get some water this water will revive faith and confidence in our spirit. You know, sometimes we just need some confidence in God. Amen. Sometimes we just need some strength and we need, uh, you know, I'm not talking about every moment of the day. Some, but there are times when we feel weak and, and stuff like that. All we need is a sip of that water. A sip of that living water. Give me some water, Jesus. Feel thirsty? Give me some water, Jesus. The Bible speaks about Samson. In the Old Testament, where he was getting ready to lose faith and confidence in God, but God gave him some water. Now, God gave him some physical water, but tonight God can give us some spiritual water in our soul. Amen? And this was after, right after Samson had won a great victory. The Bible said they came, the Philistines came to take him, and he went and, and, and the scripture said he found this jawbone of an ass, a donkey, and he went out there and he slew a thousand men. Hip and thigh, he just destroyed him, right? A thousand men he killed with a jawbone of a donkey. And then he cast that bone to the side and he said, now God, I'm thirsty. I'm about to die, God. You're going to let me die after giving me this great victory? Isn't that sometimes that we get a great victory in our spirit and right after that Satan is right there and we feel weak again and we feel like he's trying to, to bring us down and you come to church and you feel all excited and pumped up and God gives you some energy and then the next day you feel all so flat again. Some problem comes up or some situation arises and it seems like that thing that gave you victory, now you cast it to the side and, and, and you, can't, you can't seem to, to, to have that victory once again, right? Well, let God give you some water tonight. 
Let God give some more. Listen to what, what the Bible said concerning uh, Samson. He said in Judges chapter 15, verse 18 and 19, he said, And he was sore athirst, and called on the Lord, and said, Thou hast given this great deliverance into the hand of thy servant, and now shall I die for thirst, and fall into the hand of the uncircumcised? But God clave and hollow a place that was in the jaw, and there came water thereout, and when he had drunk, his spirit came again, and he revived, wherefore he called the name thereof Enhak Kore, which is in Lehi unto this day. Here was this man, he received his great victory, and then he was dying of thirst, and getting ready to give up. And say, oh God, now you're going to let me die. But all he needed was what? A drink of water. Amen. All he needed was a drink of water. He didn't need any, anything magical. He didn't need anything great. All he needed was a drink of water. And the Bible said God gave him that water. I don't know what all God placed in that water. It was just regular water or whatever it was. Amen. And no doubt it was purified water, right? And God gave him the best water. Maybe he had some of the blessing into that water and the bible said when samson drank that water his spirit came again and he revived amen and that's what living water does to the soul of a christian when we get back to that holy spirit or get back to that word of god or get back in worship and we are drinking of that spiritual water we will revive amen our spirit will be will revive again we will come strong we will get strong we won't be walking around weak and discouraged and all this stuff why because we have drank from the spirit of the living God we have tasted of that living water Amen. thank God for the living water the living water will give strength everybody need living water tonight Jesus told that woman at the well he said if you even know who 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 it was that was talking to you he said you would have asked and I would have given you what living water you know sinners need living water Christians need living water. Everybody need a drink of this living water so they can give them strength in their time of weaknesses. It can give them, uh, cause them to revive. Revive in what? Revive in faith. Sometimes we need to revive in faith. Amen. Sometimes we need to revive in spirituality. We need to get that fire burning to where, you know, we are praying like we should pray. We are reading the Word of God like we should read the Word of God. Sometimes it may just take a little bit of time away from our busyness and just get a drink of water just go and get a sip of that living water and oh what good it can do to the soul of a man and a woman when they sip that living water of God amen, amen. you know last night after Bible study and everything we went home and, and got home it was you know a little bit late after 10 30 or whatever and I just sat there in my Bible and I just read a little bit I think it was just a little bit I was just sitting on the couch all by myself Man, the Spirit of God just came down. Uh, the Spirit of God just came down. You know, I've been busy all day working, teaching, doing this, doing that, whatever. And I needed a sip of that living water. <laughs> hey, man, I got there, open, opened the Bible. And that's the water, right, that cleanses my soul. But as I opened the Word of God, the Spirit of God came down. The Bible said, this is the key of the Spirit. When God spoke about the living water that should be in us, He said this represents the Holy Spirit. When you get an unrushing of the Holy Spirit, when the Spirit of God come down and begin to fellowship with you, that's a good drink of living water right there. Amen. And we need that. We need it from time to time. Samson needed some water to cause him to revive again. And as Christians, sometimes we need that spiritual water to revive our strength. Sometimes we need a living water to cause us to, to revive within us and mo motivate us to say, hey man, I can do better. Right? God gave me victory, but I don't have to lose it. I don't have to cast this thing away and say, oh, let me die now, Lord. Isn't that amazing? I, just like, um, uh, what was his name? The prophet Elijah. He called on fire from heaven and, and, and uh, Mount Carmel. And then right after that, he ran for his life and said, Oh God, now let me die. Right? What a great victory. Defeated 400 prophets of Baal and the other prophets that were there. He destroyed them. Called on fire from God. Turned the people of God 
people of Israel back to God, did all these great things, and the next moment he's running for his life saying, oh God, let me die. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. They're after me. Jezebel want to kill me, and Jezebel want to get rid of me. Let me die, God. Let me die. I'm talking about sometimes the greatest defeat comes right after a victory in God. Amen? Right after a great victory in God, Satan began to turn up his attacks in our life and trying to, trying to cause, cause that all that victory to be nullified and be done away with and cause us to go back into fearful things and, and doubtful things and stuff like that. But if we stay close to the well, he said, with joy, you can draw water from the wells of salvation. Amen. If we stay close to the well and we get our buckets ready and say, Lord, I just had a great victory, but I'm not going to let the enemy take it. Cast my bucket down into the well of salvation, that well of deliverance, and just get some water and just sip and just drink or whatever it is that you need to do but get that living water back in your soul amen? amen don't let the enemy steal the victories that the lord has given unto you day after day stay close to that well and drink of that living water this water not only will keep us will, will give us strength and cause us to revive but it will also keep us alive spiritually amen they keep us alive spiritually. We want that spiritual life in us at all times. We want to come to church lively. Right? We don't want to come to church just because it's church time. All right? We don't want to read the Bible just because we have to read the Bible. We don't want to pray just because we have to pray. We want to do it because we want to. Amen. We do it because we want to. We have to keep that spiritual fire burning in us. Keep that spirit alive, that spiritual spirituality alive in us. And it shouldn't be, you know, from one week to the next. You know, it should be an everyday thing, right? Everyday thing. God, I want to be in the house of the Lord. God, I want to be close to you. God, I want to feel your presence. I want to feel that closeness. I want to have that living water close. So whenever I feel that thirst, I want to drink. Amen. I want to drink, you know us around and we all carry our bottles around especially in summertime we want to be close to, to, to the source of water get me some water but let it be the same in our soul let it be the same in our soul Samson said he's, he's about to give up but when he drank that water he revived when he drank that water he came alive again and there's another story in the book of um, Genesis but Hagar and Ishmael when, I, when, when Abraham sent them away, they gave them a bottle of water. And the Bible said the water was spent or was all, you know, used up. And there was, the boy was about to die for, from thirst. The young man was about to die from thirst. And the Bible says his mother just cast him by some shrub, just left him there. Because she, she didn't want to watch her son die. And she went a good, good, distance, good distance away from him. And she began to cry and to pour out her heart and to weep going through this tough time. And the Bible said the Lord began to speak to her. In Genesis chapter 21 verse 19 and 20, he said, And God opened her eyes and, and she saw a well of water. And she went and filled the bottle with water and gave, it, gave the lad drink. And God was with the lad and he grew and dwelt in the wilderness and became... An archer. Here was this young man ready to die, but just uh, some water brought him back to life. All right, ready to die. His mother already gave up on him. She said, I don't want to watch him die. Just let him die out there all by himself. And, and no doubt she would have died also. But just that drink of water brought life back to this man. How much so some spiritual water. Amen. How much so when we drink, we, we what the Bible said in our text there, he said, therefore with joy shall ye draw waters out of the wells of salvation. How much so when we get our, our bucket and begin to draw water out of the wells of salvation, the well of deliverance, when we begin to every single day we, we, we get some water for our soul, brothers and sisters, we will stay alive. Amen? Christians will stay alive. We don't have to be dead. The Bible said when you live in pleasure, you're dead while you live. But we don't have to be dead men walking. We don't have to just be like the shadow, just existing, but 
not alive, we can be alive. Amen. We can be alive in our Christianity. All we have to do is get some of that living water, stay close to the well, and keep drinking, drinking of that living water, drinking of the Word of God, drinking of the Spirit of God, fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit. He said, draw water. Just do it with joy. Don't come to the house of the Lord with, with, a, with a bad attitude saying, I need some water. No. He said, do it with joy. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water from the wells of salvation. God said, come, get some water for your soul. Amen. And come joyfully and take the things that God wants. Jesus told that woman he will give her living water. He tell her, he said, this water, he said, the water that I will give you will be like a well springing up into everlasting life. The Holy Ghost and the Word of God, this is what keeps us spiritually alive. Come draw some water from the wells of salvation. Draw it with joy tonight. Let God fill you with joy. He said, what do you, preacher, what I need right now is I'm joying my life. Well, come to the well. Come to the well and get some of that water. I need some peace in my life. Come to the well and get some water. I need some confidence in God. Come to the well. Get some water. I'm running low on faith. Come to the well and get some water. What, whatever the need is. He said with joy you shall draw water from the wells of salvation. Right? The, the well is there and the Bible said all we have to do is draw it. God is not going to do it for us. Amen. God is not going to do it for us. Nobody can do it for us. We have to draw the water for ourselves. We have to let down our buckets and we have to pull that water out and we have to drink it. As he said it in John chapter 16, verse 24, Jesus speaking to the disciples, he said, Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. Right? God said, you got to do it. You got to ask him for what you want. He said in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, he said, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Amen. God said, come, get some water. Get some water for your soul. No need for you to worry about things. No need for you to be all, you know, I understand there's a lot of things that are happening in different our lives and different ones and, and dealing with different things. I understand that, the reality of that. But don't be like Samson. Let God give you some water so you can revive again. Amen? Don't be like this young man who was ready to die of thirst. Let God give you some water and keep you spiritually alive. Let God keep you spiritually alive in your faith and your devotion and your walk with God. Let it be lively every day. The Bible said we are living stones, not dead stones. Amen. Not laying there doing nothing. <laughs> but the Bible said we're lively. Right? We come to the lively oracle. Jesus is alive. Everything about God is life and living. He said, I am he that was there, but behold, I'm alive. And the Bible said we are in him. We, he made in us, in us, we are alive in Christ. Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ but I live, right? I live. Everything about God brings life, and so sometimes we just need to get some of that living water. Keep us alive spiritually. And as you bow your heads and close your eyes in reverence to the Lord, He said with joy, with joy, you can draw water from this well of salvation. With joy, you can come and get everything you need from the Lord. God, this is what I need right now. Just reach out to the Lord. Ask Him, and let Him fill you what you need tonight. Jesus, thank you for your word. Blessed, accomplish your will through it. Let the living water flow through all of us tonight. In Jesus' name we ask this thing.
Tomorrow, this later on this week, you feel thirsty. Talking about in your soul, just go get some water. Stop what you're doing, and just get in the presence of God. Spend some time in His presence, and quench whatever thirst that is. Amen. The enemy comes in like a flood. Say, hold on, I'm gonna go get some water. <laughs> I'll be right back when I revive and strength and power and everything. Let's have a wonderful week, and God bless you all. Keep us in prayer. And the services this weekend and soul winning Saturday. And um, we're just going to look forward for God's blessing. Amen. 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 Follow you, join us in line. Have a blessed night. We appreciate you all. And God bless you. Father, thank you for the service. We give glory to you. Thank you, God, for the living water that you have given to all of us. Help us, Lord, in our time of needs. We, we pray that you will bless this message. Use it for your glory. In Jesus' name, I ask these things. Amen.